Welcome to the demonstration of IPC DFM profiles within the PCB flow environment. The easiest way to get access is to type into the URL line www.pcbflow.com. After that, you log in or you set up your account. After login, the home page of PCB Flow is opening, showing the options of fabrication and analysis on PCB level or assembly analysis on printed board assembly level. As well, there is a networking environment. So once you select during your setup of your profile that you are networking with other companies, you will be visible within those 130 companies that are listed here as networking companies. And you can connect to any of those companies. Just select IPC and you would have here a button connect with IPC. I would accept your networking request and then you can use any of the nine IPC DFM profiles. Going back to the home page, I select an assembly analysis and I give a project an, a name. And I could now upload my design file and my BOM file bill of materials and um, the design file best is an IPC 2581 or ODP++ file, but the system can read all other kind of files formats as well. Due to time reasons, I do not upload a specific design. I use the sample files and I continue with the upload of the files to the Siemens cloud. That takes a moment and that is dependent on the size of your design and BOM files. I skip the tutorial. What you see here is the BOM file and the how many of the components used on your design are matching with the Whaler parts library. We have 20 total parts. Out of those 17 parts are matching exactly. One is not matching and two parts are invalid. You could now work on these parts and see whether you get them matching as well. For example, by adjusting the naming that is used in your BOM file. I will continue like it is now. The next step is to, um, to select the DFM profile that you want to use. For that, you just click to IPC, where you previously have established the networking connection. You take one of the profiles, I will take IPC class 3 level A, and I run the analysis. Here you can see the progress of the DFM analysis. 
that is now a cal calculation that is going on on the cloud and once it is ready it is opening uh, the um, DFM analysis file directly. That takes a while as well, dependent on the size of your files that you uploaded. So, um, in the meanwhile, um, you can have a look on all the other options that PCB Flow is providing to you. You see the analysis is ready already. I will view the report. It skips a tutorial for the moment. You will see here the project highlights. Close that as well. This is your file including components and this view uh, has a, a, a another um, a zoom factor view here where you always have the board view and you will identify where on the board you are operating. So the deviations on that DFM analysis are manifold. You have component placement deviations to IPC profiles. You have edge deviations and you have solder deviations. And I will um, make two examples. I will make one example for the edge deviations. I take the PTH annular ring. We have nine uh, identified deviations with that failure code. And if I click there, I find a printed through hole and the measurement of the annular ring is 7.5 mil and the requirement is 8.858 mil. So this annular ring is too small and this annular ring can be found here in the overview. If you go to the solder defects, then you see, for example, insufficient side dimension of a pad. I click on that. Then I zoom in. You see the component. You see the lead and the pad. And you see the distance between the lead and the edge of the pad is too small. The measurement says 18.7 mil. The required value is 23.6 mil. Yeah, and now you can go through those failures step by step, by through those identified deviations, and you can correct them in your file in your drawing directly. With that, I finish the demonstration. I would like to use the chance to also highlight that you can find more information about the IPC DFM profile if you go to www.ipc.org. You go for solutions, IPC design, and on the design page, you see design for manufacturing. This is our landing page for, for, for the description of DFM. You get, you can um, request more detailed information or we can set up an individual training if you need more information maybe for your design team. So this is a comprehensive view of our offering. Thank you for listening to our demo.